Euclid's 18th proposition says that in any triangle, the greater side subtends greater angle. What this means is basically that as I move a point, two of the sides will, lengths will uh, change. Now, initially AC is the largest side. So the angle opposite to that, which is what we mean by subtending an angle. So this side subtends this angle. And since this side is the largest side, that means this angle will also be the largest. As I keep reducing it, you notice that now this has become the largest side. That means this angle is the largest. Okay, let's see how to prove this. Now, the trick is something like this. We draw a circle with center as A and AB as the radius. We get an intersection between the circle and AC. So let's call that point as D. Now they are both radii of the same circle. So which means that AB is equal to AD. So let's mark that them as equal. Okay. Now let's join BD. Now once we join that, we notice that we have a triangle here, ABD with two equal sides. That means their opposite angles are also going to be equal. Angle ADB will be equal to angle BBA. And now let's focus on this triangle that is BCD. Here if you notice that this angle ADB becomes an external angle to this triangle. And we have seen previously that an external angle is greater than either of the internal opposite angles. So that means angle ADB is greater than DCB or BCD. This angle is greater than this angle, but this angle is equal to this angle. So instead of using this angle, we can substitute it with this angle. So what happens? We can say that angle DBA because they are equal, we can do the substitution. Angle DBA is greater than angle BCD. Now, this angle is greater than this angle. But angle CBA itself is greater than angle DBA. So, which means, if you put it as a statement, we can say that angle CBA is greater than angle BBA which is in turn greater than angle DCB which we can say angle ACB. So angle CBA is greater than angle DBA which is greater than angle ACB. That means if you remove the middle term what do we get? We get angle CBA is much much greater than angle ACB. Just like this, we can prove that angle CBA is greater than angle DAC. So we have proved that angle CBA is much much greater than angle ACB and also DAC. So that is proposition 18 of Euclid's book 1 of elements. Again, as usual, let me remind you, I have provided a PDF link to a book which describes all the 48 propositions of book 1 of elements. That's it for now. Bye.